guys, welcome to today's video. Today is an exciting one. You've asked for it. I've wanted to do it for the past year. So here it is. It's my makeup declutter. I'll try and keep this introduction as short and sweet as possible because I want to be putting the same introduction in for every single makeup declutter. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a timestamp down here somewhere if you want to skip ahead to the declutter, if you've already seen this introduction. If you haven't, because it's the first one or it's the first one you've seen, welcome. We're going to be doing a makeup declutter, going through every single item that I own and choosing if I want to keep it or not. I have purchased, I would say, a healthy 97% of my makeup, maybe 95, 95% of my makeup by myself. So of course, I'm not going to be as ruthless as people who get PR because um, I've bought the makeup myself for a reason. It's my hard-earned cash that's been spent on it. I don't want to be minimalistic. All I want to do is refine my collection nicely so I know what I've got, so that I can open my drawers and not feel overcrowded. I definitely feel overcrowded at the moment. I don't declutter my makeup. I haven't done previously, so here we go into the makeup declutter. Everything that I will be getting rid of is either going to family and friends, um, or in the bin if it's yucky, disgusting and old, you know, like cream products dry out and are disgusting. So it won't be going to waste, don't worry. Um, I do apologise, but I will not be doing giveaways or sending it to people, so please don't comment down saying send it to me, because I just don't feel comfortable doing that and also it, it just becomes a little bit complicated and personally I've got enough family and friends to distribute my makeup around to so it won't go to waste. Don't worry it will not go to waste um, if you're thinking about that but like I said I won't be doing an absolute ruthless declutter but I wouldn't declutter enough to feel like I can breathe again so like I said I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet so let's get into the makeup declutter. Okay, so this is my eyeshadow palette collection. It's pretty, it like goes pretty deep, as you can see. There's like a lot of palettes in here. It's kind of messy. I try to keep it in much order as possible. Uh, I try to keep it in as much order as possible, you know, trying to keep everything together. But sometimes things like this happens because I have so much that it all just gets dumped. And there's some things in the back here that I probably haven't touched for a good while like a good while so um i'm not sure how long this is going to take we might have to just do small palettes then big palettes in two videos i'm not entirely sure but i'm going to try and get it all done in one video so yeah i think let's just take everything out and then put it all back in again Okay, so I actually think I can do this all in one video because there's some big wins here, okay? There's collections like my Urban Decay, my Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's big collections here that I can just put in here knowingly that I love it and will keep it no matter what. So I think we're just going to start off with that basis. I'm going to put all my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes back in. I will use all these. I still do. You know, I use these all on a quite a regular basis. Um, I don't think... Is this it? I, I don't even know if this is it at the moment. But yeah, I've got the Mon Renaissance, the Sultry palette, my absolute... One of my favourite palettes, like, ever. Like, one of the top... 10 um, my subculture palette I'm just try wiping these down a little bit so if they're wet they're wet um the soft glam and then the riviera palette so i'll be keeping all of these palettes i keep them in their boxes just to keep them nice and clean um but obviously i do still use them but yeah they're just they're just keeping clean and also they stack beautifully when they're in their boxes really really appeasing the Urban Decay Naked palettes are something I'm absolutely keeping again. We've got the Naked, Naked 1, Naked 2, the Smoky, and the Naked Heat. Um, that's all that I have at the moment. Ah! That's all that I have at the moment, so I'm going to be keeping all of these. Again, I keep them in the box just to look nice, and also they stack really nicely, and they're not exactly difficult to get out, especially this one. It's just like a sliding jobby so yeah i'm gonna keep all of these they're keepers i love them it's like a collection thing to me they're not get, they're not going anywhere another two easy wins are my jeffree star blue blood palette and jeffree star blood sugar palette these are keepers i absolutely love these these are treasured items in my makeup collection they're absolutely being kept Another little collection of palettes I've got are my Zoeva palettes. I've got the Coco Blend, the Metals, and the Rodeo palette. Um, the Coco Blend is definitely being kept. This is like an absolute oldie, but a goodie. It's lovely. I've even hit pan on one of these shades. Can you even see that? 
I don't even know, yeah, just about there, look. Um, so yeah, this is an absolute keeper. I love this palette. It's such an everyday, beautiful palette keeping. Um, the metals. This one's like a really nice accompanying palette. Like if you have this one and this one together, they just go really, really well together. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. And then the Rodeo Bell palette is the only one that I haven't really used in a while, but when I want it, I know I want it. Like it's one of those palettes where it, it's just like really nice for the red, the blues. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it for now, but if I don't use it by next year and I haven't used it enough, then I will get rid of it. But they're only thin, so I'm gonna keep these for now. Another couple of palettes I'm absolutely keeping are my Jeffree Star Androgyny and Beauty Killer palettes. Haven't used the Beauty Killer palette in a while, but I love, love, love the Androgyny palette. It's just so beautiful, so like sexy and sultry. I absolutely love it. So that's Keeper. And the Beauty Killer palette is Jeffree Star's original palette. And I don't use it enough, to be honest, but it's just one of those I just want to keep in my collection. Ugh, if I can get it open. It's just really pretty. Full of really pretty and unique shades. And yeah very exciting I like it I have some more Urban Decay palettes here um so just starting off this is an absolute bloody keeper they discontinued this Urban Decay you broke my heart you stamped on it you spat on it and you left it to burn this is one of my favorite favorite palettes and you're probably thinking what the hell how is that your favorite palette it's bright it's audacious and do you know what I bloody love it I bloody love it and I reach for this actually more often than some of my neutral palettes I own that's how much I love it it doesn't look like I've used it a lot but I do these shades here oh my god this one's beautiful this one's beautiful this one's beautiful this one is a beautiful liner I just love the whole palette like there's not a single shade in here that I don't use that often it's beautiful the same goes for the moon dust I really, really like this palette I do not reach for it enough um, but it's really, really pretty. It's full of like these really sparkly shades. They recently just brought out a party pack of just like six neutral shades, which is really nice. But these are really, really iridescent. You've got Element here, which is like this beautiful sort of shade here. Um, a little bit like Blaze, that one. And then like this one here. They're just so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. They're just so sparkly, stunning. I love them. It's being kept. This one, however, is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. And if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I just haven't used this enough to warrant keeping. I have so many rainbow palettes, so many. This one is actually really, really stunning. There's some beautiful shades in here. You've got like glittery ones, matte ones. It's really, really beautiful because they go from really bright in the middle, then really sort of pastel-y, weirdy, sort of toxic looking. And then up here, they're really, really deep, like sexual, they're beautiful. Um, I don't need this palette because I don't, touch it enough like I don't use it enough I've used it a handful of times and to be honest I just never gravitate towards it so it's a tough one for me because it's urban decay and it's stunning but this needs to go to a better home another couple of Jeffree Star palettes here I've got the Jawbreaker and the Thirsty palette absolutely keeping I love these palettes I recently reviewed this palette and did like a little look I will link it up in the eye um, and the Thirsty palette is really unique and really pretty as well he's got like the pressed glitter shades in here which is really cool um, if I can open it and the packaging is so awesome like can you see all these like water droplets it looks really really cool and it just looks like this it's just really really pretty got all of these like metallic-y looking metal glitter shades it's really really pretty I actually really really love this palette it's like a neutral palette but with pops of colour in I really really like it I feel like I'm keeping everything but I might keep all of my Juvia's Place palettes these ones are stunning this is the Magic Mini which is like the mini version of their Massive Magic palette really really like this palette um, it's beautiful shades that are really shifty and majestic really really like it I don't gravitate it towards enough but it's something that I need to keep using so I don't use it enough um, the Warrior 2 is stunning it's just full of these juicy mattes really really love this especially if I want something really warm it's a beautiful palette um, the Tribe is something I haven't used enough yet it's pretty new to me it's full of greens and just weird colors very swampy a very I like it a lot I like it a lot and then I have the Duce by Juvius which is arguably my favorite palette I've created some really really pretty looks out of this palette absolutely love it the pan size is a little bit audacious for my liking but um yeah I need to just get some more use out of my Juvius palettes and actually put them to use otherwise I should declutter them I thought long and hard about this but I'm going to get rid of all of these Morphe palettes these this is the Morphe 35p palette looks absolutely beautiful I absolutely love it but I have got so many palettes and these just don't get looked at like I have created some really beautiful looks with this palette I absolutely love purples especially on my eyes but 
I don't know I've just I have got a lot of purples already and I just don't really need it so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this one this is the 35 OS which is the 35 O but in a shimmer form it just looks beautiful I don't use it enough I haven't used it since I bought it so it's got to go and I think this is, yeah, the 35OM, which is the matte version of the 35O. Really, really, really pretty, this palette. Really pretty. But, again, I've got all of these shades in other palettes. So, it was loved, but it needs to go. I don't use massive palettes like this. And they're just a little bit too similar for my liking. Goodbye. And then, finally, I have the 35F. This one is so beautiful and I actually bought Lily this as well because it's such a beautiful palette. Like you've got all your neutrals and blending shades. You've got like your highlight shades up here and then all of these lovely berry looking reds looking beautiful goldness. It's, it's stunning. I love it. It's like a real full palette but I do have all these shades and it's just not my favourite you know. It's just not my favourite anymore so I think I'm going to let this go to a good home. A much better home. I've got some more palettes here that are just a little bit odds and sods. I've got the Violet Voss and Nicole Concilio eyeshadow palette. This is really beautiful but I don't use it enough um, and I just haven't used it at all really so I think I might try to get a bit more use out of this and if I don't want it like by next year then I'll declutter it then um, but I just haven't used this enough to say whether I truly like it or not. Some shades I haven't even touched. So yeah, I need to keep this for a little bit longer to decide whether I like it or not because I haven't really tried it out enough. And then I've got the BH Desert Oasis palette. I think I did a look with this one as well. It's a really, really pretty palette. And I've used it quite a few times. Really, really pretty. But it does, it is quite limiting. It's some plastic things annoy me. It is quite limiting because you do have only a few mattes. But the metallics in this are absolutely to die for. So... Um, again, I think I want to keep it for a little bit longer and then just sort of, I don't know, decide whether I want it by next year if I haven't used it enough. But I want to keep it for a little bit longer. I've got two Too Faced palettes here. This is the Chocolate Bon Bons palette and the Chocolate Semi Sweet palette. I don't use this at all. Like, I just don't use this. It just needs to go to a better home. There's some really, really pretty shades in here. This one is like my favourite, Peanut Butter. Oh my god, it's so beautiful and creamy. It's stunning. But I just don't need it. I just don't need it anymore. I've got so many palettes like this and I don't really gravitate towards Too Faced. So yeah, it's going to go. This one is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So this one is slightly shattered. As you can see, I need to sort, of sort this out. I bought this for Lily's birthday and it arrived broken. And I probably bought it off of a bit of a dodgy website. I'm not really too sure. But yeah, the one I received was broken. So then I had to order another one. Um, and hers obviously wasn't broken. But I couldn't send this back. So I kept it. It's slightly broken. I have no idea what's going on with this palette. Um, I am going to keep it, I think. Just to sort of pan it, I think. Get rid of it. Because I like the shades in here. I really, really like this one right here. It's really, like, broken. Everything's broken. I really like this one. This one is so pretty um what else oh there's this beautiful like i don't know they're just really really pretty look at these um and look at this pink like it's just audacious i love it i love it a lot but i'm gonna keep it sort it out it's got like pigment all in it so i'm gonna put it to the side to sort it out my two lorac palettes i bought these oh my god i bought these so long ago and to be honest with you they are stunning like i do love them they were quite expensive i like this one more than the first one this one's beautiful but this one, the Lark 2, was my favourite. Um, but I just don't use them. I don't use them. And this is the problem. I just don't use them enough to warrant keeping them. They're beautiful. Um, especially this jade colour. I really love this one. The Garnet is beautiful. But these should go to a better home because I just don't use them enough. So, yeah. They need to go to a better home. They haven't been touched this year. Maybe past 18 months. So, goodbye, friends. I'm going to keep the Urban Decay on the run or Born to Run palette. Really, really like this palette. It's actually really, really pretty. I was kind of debating whether to get this palette or not, but I'm glad I did because it's got some real beautiful jewel tones colours. I took this travelling with me. It's lovely. It's quite heavy, but the mirror's stunning. I don't know if you can see that. The mirror's beautiful. Um, and it's just a beautiful package. And it's just got beautiful packaging. So I'm going to keep this palette. Another one I'm going to keep is the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Obsessions palette. This is like a limited edition palette, I think. I don't know if they've made it permanent now, but oh my god, this palette is absolutely bloody stunning. It's like swampy colours. Absolutely love it. Look at the mattes. Oh! Oh my god! Look, wait, one more, one more, one more. 
oh my gosh it's just absolutely beautiful like are you seeing these swatches they're absolutely beautiful it does wear lovely on the lids however you do need something to accompany it because there's literally two mattes and they're the deepest darkest mattes i've ever seen in my life so i will be keeping this but i need to use it a bit more just like everything else i need to use it more another palette i'm going to keep is the alien palette by jeffree star i actually really really love this palette it's actually one of my favorite palettes the packaging kind of annoys me i won't lie to you like it won't it's too tall to stand up in this drawer and i can't stand it up like that it's just it's a bit i have to lay it flat and that's something i just find a little bit annoying but you know it's a beautiful palette i absolutely love 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 the shades in here i really really love them i've created some really lovely looks with this and yeah I love it. I'm going to keep it. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. Something I'm a little bit unsure on is the Cargo Cosmetics palette. Um, this is a really pretty palette, but it's a little bit, like, not pigmented enough for me. Like, these greens aren't the greens I was expecting. They're quite dark. And, I don't know, it just wasn't the sort of thing I was expecting. Um, let me swatch it for you here. Can you see what I mean? Like, they're just a little bit dark and brown. Just wasn't what I was expecting at all. So... Uh maybe maybe baby maybe one i want to get rid of is the primark just peachy eyeshadow palette it's a really pretty eyeshadow palette but i've got so many peachy eyeshadows like this a lot of ColourPop ones so i don't need it it's actually a really pretty palette it's got a lot of pigment to it for primark shadows um but i just don't really need it you know look at that it's very pigmented it's very beautiful but it just it's never used it's never used i don't really need it so it's gonna go another one i'm very on the fence about is the revolution uh max maxenchka i have no idea how to say that but it's a travel friendly makeup palette it comes with a mirror um, and it comes with a highlighter a blusher and a t like a bronzer shade and it comes with nine eyeshadows um oh my god i want to keep this but i don't need it I'm going to come back to this and if I've got not enough room I'm just going to get rid of it but if I've got room I'm going to squidge it in somewhere but it, it's quite pretty it's quite travel friendly but I actually don't really travel with it that's the problem so maybe maybe not but maybe <laughs> okay another massive Morphe palette this annoys the crap out of me because it's so big um this is the 30 39 artistry 30 30 something artistry palette it's it's stunning and i love it and i do reach for this quite often for like the red shades the green shades and the blue um but it's so big it annoys me uh oh god i really love the olive shades in here though i'm gonna keep it oh god it's so annoying so i really hate the size of this but i'm gonna keep it i have made the executive decision that we're gonna do small palettes as well as the big palettes today we're just gonna whiz through them um the ColourPop palettes i've got a lot of them okay i've got a lot of ColourPop palettes i'm gonna keep them all i'll just run through the ones i've got so you know which ones i have um i've got the villains misunderstood palette the only one i keep in this packaging because just the packaging is stunning and i feel like i need to keep this one um but this is a misunderstood palette it's absolutely beautiful i need to use this more i have really like i have loads of looks in mind for this and i need to get on and use it because oh my god i love this palette so much i also have last year's ColourPop. all i can see is magic actually no it might have been the year before actually this is the year before last uh, christmas eyeshadow palette i really really like this i've taken this traveling quite a few times and it's really really pretty i'm going to keep this one as well i mean just to let you know i'm keeping all of these i don't know why i'm saying i'm going to keep it i'm going to keep all of these i've got the qaf palette which is very very messy i um, really like this one this is one of their originals um, i need to go through and just tidy all my makeup palettes up because they're a little bit filthy love this one um, i've got the double entendre i think this is this is a really really lovely palette this is a dupe from another palette and i forgot which one it is i think it's the tartlet toasted toasty tartlet palette really, really love this palette stunning um the element of surprise again a really really nice one it's kind of like similar to the bieber palette by natasha denona if you want to try out that sort of color story it's quite similar i think i believe um this is a really, really nice palette i really really like this one a newish one is the sweet talk one this has got the pressed glitters inside of it this is the first time i've actually tried these pressed glitter formulas really really nice it's like a lovely peachy sort of palette really pretty for springtime and summer keeping the two kathleen lights palettes the zodiac and dream street oh actually one of my favorite palettes especially because they're kathleen lights but one of them has a mirror in one of them doesn't and these two palettes are bloody everything to me i absolutely love them i've traveled with just these two palettes alone before and i bloody love it bloody love them the next palette is the fem rosa palette and i actually bloody love this one it's like beautiful rosy tones you've got all your shimmers up here and then your mattes down here really really love this palette it is very similar to um is it this one or is it this one 
these are kind of like, to be honest, they're all very similar. Like these ones here, they give it to me straight. It's an absolute stunner. Really, really love this palette. And then the, which one is this? You have me at Hello palette. It's quite purpley and silvery and taupey. Really, really love this one. But yeah, these two are quite similar, but I just love them both too much. Like this one is like a mix between this one and this one. I don't know. I love them. They're quite small. I love Colourpop shadows. Uh, and then the final one is the Good Sport palette. I love the packaging of this one. And this is really unique. Like, I don't actually own anything quite like this. It's got some real beautiful mustard shades, some really like greeny gold, some purples. This one, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love all of these palettes. They're all being kept. They're all my babies. I love the three little palettes I'm going to keep with the Kiko Milano Eyes palettes. I absolutely bloody love these palettes. And um, we've got a green one, a purple one, and like an orangey one. I actually gave these away at a Christmas like giveaway thing a couple of years back. Really, really love these palettes. They're beautiful. Very easy to use. I'm going to keep all of them. Some palettes I am going to get rid of is the Essence All About Bronze and All About Greys palette. The bronze one is beautiful, but I've got so many bronzy shadows. I just don't need it. It's all quite metallic, like every single shade in here is metallic bronze but if I'm going to keep the Morphe one which has got so many bronzes in I cannot justify having a small bronze palette the greys is something quite unique but oh god if I can get it open I never really use it and that's the problem I never really use it but it's a beautiful shadow palette if you like greys um yeah I don't really use them so they're gonna go I've got these two little Too Faced palettes and to be honest these are quite old now but they are beautiful. They used to do loads of these tiny little ones. This is the Cat Eyes one and the Sugar Pop one and they have like some transformer shades that you can use wet. I mean to be honest you can use any shadow wet if you want to, just maybe not mattes. These are really pretty. I love the Kitter Glitter and the Tiger's Eye one. They're both stunning shades. I hated the mattes in here. I thought they were disgusting. Like I just didn't like the shades because I don't know what the hell you're going to use those for apart from highlighting. Um, this one's really pretty for colour but I don't use them. I don't use them enough so I want to give them to a better home because they're just really cute palettes. If you like colour or if you like neutrals and smokiness they're really pretty but I just don't use it enough. I've got some Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I've got the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. Really, really like this one. It's beautiful greens. I wish it was a little bit more greeny because the only proper green in here is this one and everything else is quite foresty green. Not the exact green I would like, but I really like this one. Um, it's nice and small. I also have the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette, which is stunning. My sort of my sort of palette, to be honest. My sort of palette. Bloody love this palette. Has a little mirror in it. Love it. And then I have the Mauve Obsessions, which is like more raspberry tones, if I can get it out. And it just looks like this. It's really, really pretty. I've taken this travelling quite a few times. I love all of the shimmers in here, and the mattes are really pretty as well. It's just really, really beautiful. I'm keeping it. Another little one that I'm going to definitely keep is the Diego Della Palma palette. Bloody love this palette. Bloody love this. What is this actually called, this palette? The safari palette is it into the wild palette really beautiful packaging it's got all like this embroidery on it inside are these beautiful shades they're so pigmented like literally so pigmented like swipe swipe oh my god look at the pigmentation it's just stunning i absolutely love these shades um i need to buy more from diego della palma but nothing tickled my pickle like this one i love it I have the two Tartlet palettes. I wish I had the Tartlet in bloom, but I don't. I have the Tartlet Original and the Tartlet Toasted. This one is a beautiful, beautiful sort of cool toned eyeshadow palette. I actually do use this quite frequently if I want a cool toned look with like a, a silver or a mauve type of glitter on top. I love this palette. And the Tartlet Toasted is the more expensive version of, I think it's the Double Entendre palette from Colourpop. Let me just open it up. Yeah, I think these are like dupes of one another. Like this is cheaper version of this one. Actually, really, really love this palette. I do use this quite often and it smells like cocoa. I love it. They're being kept. I wish I had the Tartlet and Bloom as well, but I don't. This is actually a Too Faced palette I am going to keep because I bloody love this Too Faced palette. This is the Just Peachy Mattes. I actually use this on quite a regular basis. If I want a raspberry type, like, type of eye, I will gravitate towards this. I actually use this for like two weeks straight at one point for my work eye. Like I literally just put loads of mattes in my crease and ran out the door. Bloody love this. It smells of like peaches. I love it. Love the packaging. I think it looks lovely and sleek. I love it. It's being kept. Another little odds and sods that's being kept is the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2. This is quite an oldie but a goodie. I actually use this quite a lot as well. I don't know if the camera is actually focusing into that, but I have done quite a lot of damage to these pans. Um, but they're pretty hard to hit pan on. I've used this quite a lot. Like, I've used all of these shades. And it's just a really, really beautiful palette, and I really like it. So, actually, do you know what? I'm just going to throw this thing away. I don't know why I keep these things. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. 
One I am going to get rid of is this Runaway Glamour Eyeshadow Palette in Berry Blossom. It's a really pretty sort of shimmery palette, but to be honest with you, I don't think I have ever or will ever use this. I've got so many shadows that I just will not gravitate towards this, but this is great for someone that doesn't have a massive makeup collection and just wants some pinky glitters to put on top of their eyeshadow. Um, they are really pigmented, they are pretty, but I do not need it. It's going. Two that are absolute keepers in my eyes are the Star London Velvet Touch Eyeshadow Palette. This is the more raspberry one, and this is the more like neutral brown, like warm tone brown shades. I love these. These are so pigmented. They wear beautifully. Um, these actually came free in some boxes. I say free. They came in my beauty boxes that I buy. I wish I had the red one from Glossy Box, but I do not. These are beautiful. They're staying in my collection. They're stunning. I love them. This is one from Soap and Glory. This is quite like it it looks quite gray um the eyeshadows themselves are really pretty but i just do not use them the shimmers are stunning but uh i just don't really use it and to be honest i can't afford to keep things that i don't really use like they're really pretty and taupey they're really really pretty if you just want like one neutral taupey shade on your lids but i have so many eyeshadows i just cannot justify keeping this anymore although i would love to but it needs to go Another one that is like more of a sentimental thing to me is this palette right here. This is a Soap and Glory Lid Stuff palette. I have nearly hit pan on these shades. Like these are so creamy. Especially these two are just like my favourite mattes. This one is like not so much my favourite. But these two mattes here, oh my god, they're stunning. I love them. I wish I could keep them forever. Um, I am tempted to and I think I might. I want to put it in the maybe pile. I've got some Revolution pressed glitter palettes here. I actually did a review on these. These aren't my favourite things in the world. I will not lie to you. These are not my favourite things. I do not gravitate towards these. This is like the like ready golden one. This is really pretty. They're like £10 each. I think it's not so bad. This is the magic one I think. The abracadabra one. I might keep this one because it's quite like glittery and colourful. Um, and then this is like the red sultry version, which is like all reds and beautifulness. Um, to be honest with you, I think I might just get rid of all of them because I do not use them. And if someone hasn't got any glitter in their collection, then they can have some, you know what I mean? Like they're quite good if you don't have any glitter in your collection and you just want like a little bit or a little palette of it. But to be honest, I just don't use them. They weren't my favourite things in the world something that I don't particularly like so I want to just get rid of all three of them I think give them to a better home speaking of glitter I have this Primark glitter junkie palette um have I even touched this that's the question here ladies and gents I have touched it before look at this green Ooh, um the purple okay okay this is looking promising let's go for this white oh okay hang on a minute let me swatch this see that is pretty pigmented but they're pretty powdery uh i'm gonna get rid of it i'm gonna get rid of it i have two more uh primark palettes this is the rose quartz one i don't think i've actually used this but i swatched it and it is really pretty wait i haven't even swatched this uh i should probably get rid of this unless i do like a primark look that's the difference will i do a primark look i've got another one here that i've never touched which is like similar to the um, Huda Beauty ones. Oh man. I want to get rid of this one because I won't use it. Like I just don't think I'm going to use it. It's brand new. Um, yeah, I want to get rid of this one. And then the Rose Quartz one, I think I might keep on the basis that I haven't got any Primark eyeshadows. Um, I might, yeah, I'm going to keep this one because if I ever do a Primark look, then I've got it. But... If I don't use it by the end of next year, it's going to go. So I'm going to keep it for now. I have two of the Revolution eyeshadow palettes, the Soph and the Soph Extra Spice, I think. Yeah, the Extra Spice. And then the original. The original is lovely. Looks like this. Got a beautiful mirror. Brilliant quality. Love these shadows. We'll keep this one. The Extra Spice, though, is my actually, it's, it's, it's my favourite. It's my favourite. It's really, really pretty. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep both of these because I like them. They're good quality. I have these palettes here by Revolution, which are like dupes of the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills like situation, like Subculture, Norvina, and Soft Glam. I really like these, but I actually have the makeup of it, the makeup version of it, but I do really like them. Uh, nah. I think I'm going to keep it. 
I've got some more Revolution palettes. I've got the Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade, which is the opposite of the Shade and Light Kat Von D palette. This is actually a really, really pretty palette. Um, I don't use it enough. Probably don't use it at all, really. Um, so I'm going to give this to a better home. It did come with a brush. I couldn't actually tell you where the brush is, but I'm going to give it to a better home. And then I've got this one, which is the Mermaid palette, I think. The Mermaids versus Unicorns palette. Ah! This one is really, really pretty, and I actually have a lot of shades like this in my collection. I don't think I've even swatched this. Maybe I've swatched one of them, but I don't actually think I've swatched this. So I'm going to pass this on because I just don't use it enough, and I just never think of it. So I'm going to pass it on. And this is an original. I actually did my makeup, my how I used to do my makeup versus how I do my makeup now. And this is the palette I actually used. It's an original palette. It probably needs to just go in the bin, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I want to get rid of it. I want to get rid of it. It's really, really, really old. I have some MUA palettes. Uh, this one I'm absolutely keeping. I bought this for Lily as well. And she has destroyed this palette like she has absolutely obliterated this palette this is one of my favorite drugstore palettes it's so beautiful the pigmentation of these colors are just so creamy oh my god let me do another one like the metallic oh my goodness like this is literally three four pounds can't remember now but it's really beautiful can you see those swatches am i even off frame like they're beautiful it's a really really beautiful like coral palette I love it, it's being kept. One that is an OG. This one is an OG. This is the MUA palette in Undressed, I think. Is it Undressed? Undressed, I know my makeup. Um, this is actually a cheap for the Urban Decay uh, Naked palette, the original Naked palette. And to be honest with you, it's just so loved. Like you can see how many like shades I've panned. This one's nearly at the bottom. This one's nearly at the bottom. This one's nearly at the bottom. The ones I haven't done are like the real smokier ones. But I love it a lot. This one's actually already hit pan. You just cannot see it yet. It's like this tiny little divot. Maybe you can see that. I'm not sure. But I love it. But it just needs to go now. Like it's just so old and I don't gravitate towards it. And if I want this sort of shade, I'll just go to the naked one. So it's going. This one is another pretty one. It's just a neutrals palette. Um, this is the Heaven and Earth palette. Let me open this one up. Ah. It's really pretty, it's full of neutrals, I really really like it, however I've got so many neutrals in my collection, I'm going to pass it on, I do not need it. And the same goes to this one, I think it's Disco or Glitter Ball, Glitter Ball is what it's called. This one is really pretty, it's got some really unique shades in it, but um, I don't really want it anymore because I don't really use it. This one's pretty, I've got a full size of this, this one's pretty, I've got a full size of this, and I don't really use anything else in this palette. I'll keep this MUA one because I really like it, but these two are also going. This is an MUA one, which is kind of a massive version of this, but it's a bit more pinkier, and I think I'm going to keep it. Like, the quality of this is so, so good. It's just amazing. Like, these shadows are so pigmented, and this is literally £5 palette. Like, this is a £5 palette. Like, look at these. Look at that gold. Oh, my God. Let me swatch these for you. This is literally £5. These aren't very good swatches because the angle is weird, but, like, come on now come on this is like five quid for all of these shadows it's not even a pound of shadow it's brilliant not even 50p a shadow i love it i've got some sleek palettes i'm not actually sure if i want to keep any of these to be honest um apart from maybe one this is the enchanted forest which is something that is really beautiful but i don't think i want to keep it just because i've never really used it it's got some beautiful purples uh, blues pinks mauves golds beautiful color palette but um, I don't really use it, so that's going to go. This one is the Storm palette, which is another one that's really pretty. I have never used this. Maybe I've used this a couple of times. The formula of Sleek is stunning for the drugstore, but I've got so many palettes like this that I just can't really justify keeping another one that's smoky, so it's going to go. This is the one that I will keep, though. I bloody love this palette. Like, ugh, I love this one. It's green, it's brown, it's everything I love. I love it so much. It's being kept. It's stunning. I love it. I've got this little Wet n Wild palette. This is the, uh, what was this called? Comfort Zone palette. This is like a good oldie, but a goodie. Like, this isn't the original. It's like the revamped version. Really, really pretty palette. Um, and this is the only Wet n Wild makeup that I actually have in terms of eyeshadows. So I'm going to keep this one. It's only a little dinky thing anyway. So nice and wearable. Um, I've got the Boutique Smoky Eyeshadow Quad. I'm going to get rid of this one. It's just like a Sainsbury's own version. It's actually really, really good. Like, the quality is actually really good and, like, pigmented. But it's not what I typically like out of an eyeshadow palette anymore so i'm gonna get rid of this one i have another sleek eyeshadow palette i forgot i even had this i want to get rid of it it's just like a little face palette i don't really use it maybe i can give this to my cousin or something because it's, it's not it's not used 
This is the Essence Single Eyeshadow, like make your own eyeshadow palette, and I just love the packaging of this so much. Um, the eyeshadows are not my favourite, to be honest with you, like they're nothing special, but this one right here is so beautiful, and this one right here is so beautiful, so I might keep it, they are a little bit powdery, but this one right here, like the two mattes, are really pretty, so I might keep it. The packaging is also really aesthetically pleasing, so... I might keep it for a gimmick. I'm gonna keep this one. This is the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette. This is like vibrant, vibrant colors. Really, really great if you want to amp up a look or you're going to a friend's house and you're going clubbing or something and you wanna bring a neutral palette along and then just pop, I don't know, a vibrant green on top or a vibrant purple or a vibrant brew, blue, blue, blue the lash line. These colors are stunning. I love this. It's beautiful, it's being kept. This is a Soap and Glory one I will not be keeping. Um, this actually also pairs with the other little quads that I've got, but I rarely use this. I can't even open the bloody thing. I rarely use this. My favourite shade in here is this one here. It's bloody beautiful, it's shimmery. Oh my god, it's stunning. However, can you even see that? Am I even in frame? It's just, it's not something I use anymore, so it's gonna go. I've got another one from NYX. This is just something that I got from a Christmas set, uh, look set 17. I mean, this is nice. The green in here is lovely. Like, I love this bottom row right here. This to me is perfect. Not a fan of the top row. That hot pink is just not a bit of me, but these colours are beautiful. Uh, do I want to keep this? Do I want to keep this? That's the question. Um... I mean, the swatches are lovely. Like, they are genuinely lovely. Um, mm, I think I'm going to keep it for now. Actually, no, do you know what? I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. This is another little one. This is a Trifle Cosmetics Praline palette. This is actually a really nice palette. Um, if I can get it open, that is. It doesn't look like much in the palette. It actually looks quite boring in the palette. But let me just tell you, when you swatch these shades, they're so buttery. Oh my god, like look at these shades. It's really really pretty, however I just don't use it enough. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it, it's just wasted on me. Another little one that I think I might keep is the Pixie by Petra eyeshadow palette. Um, this is in Copper Peach. Really nice palette, really nice. Um, I haven't swatched this in a while so I've forgotten what it's like. Oh it's quite powdery. Oh no, those shades are pretty, those are very pretty. Um, do I need it though? Probably not, I'm gonna get rid of it. I mean, it's lovely, it's practically new, it looks very tidy, nice pigmentation. Um, apart from that matte I swatched was a bit weird, but yeah, I'm gonna just pass it on, I think, I don't need it. I actually also have the Jaclyn Hill Vault here. I completely forgot this was even here. Um, I have all four of the palettes, obviously this is part of the vault. I actually really, really like this. I obviously got a good one. I've done a look with, a, uh, I've done a couple of looks with these. I actually really, really like them all, so I'm gonna keep all four of them in the vault. I think they're lovely palettes. I actually didn't have a problem with any of them, so I mean, therefore, I'm going to keep them. There's no point in getting rid of them if I like them all. I need to just get rid of these stupid plastic slips. I don't know what's my problem. I need to keep everything in my life. I also have this one. I completely forgot about this one. I have like loads just under this drawer, and I completely forgot that I just shoved them onto there quickly. Um, this is the Ultimate Basics palette. Haven't reached for this in a long, long time, but this is a beautiful palette. It comes with a massive mirror. Um, it is beautiful. This is my favourite shade, Extra Bitter. Oh, it's beautiful. And this one here, Lethal and Lockout, all stunning, stunning basic brown shades. But let me just tell you, they're the basic browns that you just want for every look. I think I'm going to keep this, but I might just throw away the packaging because I'm more likely to use it if it's out of the packaging, you know? It's just so, I forget about it when it's stood up like that, I forget about it. So I'm going to take out the packaging and use this a little bit more because it's truly beautiful. One that I might get rid of is the Naked Urban Decay On The Run, which is a little bit of a play on words of the Born To Run palette, this one right here, can you see that? This is the, I mean my god, look how loved this is, the writing is gone, this was one of my favourite pa- <gasps> I didn't know it was broken, oh no! I was going to say, this was one of my favourite palettes, um, I had this, I bought this in college, I remember this was one of my big purchases that I'd ever done myself before I really got into makeup, so this is very sentimental to me, it came with a lip gloss, uh, a liner, and like an eyeliner and the perversion mascara these are actually really really beautiful i never liked this blush it was just way too audacious for me and this is quite an orange bronzer um let me just give it a swatch yeah it's, it's just quite orangey for me um and this highlighter was basically just 
I mean, it's just a matte white shade. It's nothing particularly special, got no shimmer to it at all. Um, but these shades are really pretty, and especially this one and this one are really, really pretty. They have no names. They don't sell this palette anymore. So the only reason I'd be keeping it is for sentimental purposes. They are beautiful. However, I just think it's time to go. Um, if no one wants this, what I might do is just depot some of these eyeshadows and just put them in a Z palette. Um, but yeah, it, it's old. It's old. What can I say? It's like nearly, what, six years old now? This is one of my first, first travelling palettes. I wore this every single day at college. It, but it's, uh, it's time to go. I think it's time to go. I love the packaging as well. Yeah. Bye, pal. Okay, an Urban Decay one I am absolutely keeping forever and a lifetime is the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. It even comes in this little slip and I kept it. Um, oh my god, this packaging, sensational. Kind of worn about a little bit. I've seen other people's and theirs is like literally on death's door. I feel like I've kept mine in a pretty okay condition considering its age. But inside here is one of my favourite Urban Decay palettes they ever did. Um, it comes with a massive mirror back here. Um, it's one of my favourite palettes. I love this one. Bitter. Oh, I love it. Let me swatch it on the other hand so you can see it. Bitter. Um, what's this one? Flame, is it, here? Uh, this one here, Robbery. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Let me swatch them here for you. They're absolutely stunning. Oh my god, my swatches are really off. I'm really sorry. Um, let's do a few more, shall we? This one right here, which is Grasshopper. Lovely shade. Um, what is this one? Beatdown, is that? Beatdown and what else should we go for and let's go for low right here these are all lush shades like the metallics are beautiful the pigmentation is beautiful i bloody love this palette no one is taking this away from me it's a keeper and then finally i have all of my kind of z palette -y sort of eyeshadows going on so i'll just start with the first one these are all of my eyeshadows from colourpop obviously the eyeshadows all of my single matte eyeshadows from colourpop i'm keeping all of these i love all of them um they actually spill out to another palette here so maybe i can condense this a little bit but i'm keeping all of these can i somehow do that is that possible i don't know um i've got all of those and then i've got another z palette full of all the metallics from colourpop i love all of these colourpop shadows and um, i usually use them a little bit more i don't use them enough but i absolutely love them they're beautiful beautiful on the eyes this one paper tiger one of my favorite colors i actually ever owned it's absolutely stunning like look at this shadow it's just like a pukey yellowy browny yellow so unique i feel like everyone's got this shade some of these mattes are actually my favourite colours ever. Um, and the metallics are really lovely as well. I feel like I need to maybe just create three palettes and like make them more of a palette rather than just loads of single shadows. But keeping all of those. And then I have uh, this Z palette basically just full of loads of odds and sods. So I've got some makeup geek ones up here, which are stunning. I love these two. It's Joker or Jester, I think it is, or Venom and jester that's jester but yeah these are beautiful these are like my makeup geek ones up to here i think or actually there's, there's a few i've got soap and glory ones uh, there's another makeup geek one soap and glory soap and glory uh, i think that's makeup geek as well i have no idea what that one is but um mac uh blush i've got a powder here i've got all of these are from uh juvia's place these six eyeshadows they're just odds and sods you know odds and sods that I just don't want to get rid of and then finally I have a Colourpop palette oh that is empty um <laughs> I didn't realize this was empty so maybe I could put a few shadows in here make it like a mini travel palette because I have found some other stuff in my collection whilst I've been going through stuff and decluttering that I would like to just like depot so maybe this could be like a little mini travel palette for myself it's absolutely bloody filthy I need to like keep on top of all my stuff it's gross do you know what I said finally and I actually had this in my drawers um but what wasn't it when I started this video it's the Zodiac pigment collection from Kathleen Lights and Colourpop I love all of these pigments and I also love the packaging so I'm going to be keeping all of this like I said I love the packaging it's absolutely stunning so I'm going to just keep it I know it's not very space saving but um I feel like I'm just going to keep this out and just put it on top of the drawers when I'm done it's not exactly difficult to just lift this up but uh it's i think it's too high yeah it's too high to like put in the drawer so i'll just sit on top okay so let's just uh sort this out because this is actually a mess and it is giving me a little bit of a panic attack right now because it's so messy so we might have to take it all out again just to reorganize it but here goes nothing
okay i think that is it i'm gonna take this off just so you can actually see what's going on because these are obviously these aren't eye this isn't an eyeshadow palette this is just literally loose pigments but because i want to keep it in the packaging i can't put it in with my single shadows just because it is too big so i am going to exclude this from the video just know that i'm keeping it um but I don't want it to like ruin the view of this because obviously you can't see everything. So I'm going to just take this out for like the before and after situation. I feel like I've talked too much already, but like I'm keeping it. I'm just not putting it right here, okay? That is it. I feel like I'm enjoying having these two palettes that I could never previously like stand up. Having a space for them to sort of go at an angle so I can actually close the drawer. Um, I have all of my small palettes here, like the Huda Beauty, I've got right at the front here, you can't see with the Tartlet ones, and then the Too Faced Sigma, um, my little ones that I like from Style London, the little uh, Huda Beauty ones, uh, Sleek, MUA, um, Revolution, the other two Revolution ones, I've got a space back here, which... Uh, have I got anything? Oh yeah, the little empty Colourpop palette thing I've got here, I've just got that at the back. Um, I've got my Kiko ones, the NYX one, the small Urban Decay um, Naked Basics one, all of my Colourpop palettes here. Running right to the front is the Misunderstood and the Holiday 2017, or yeah, 2017? 2017 collection. Um, my Jeffree Star, so I've got the Jawbreaker right at the front here, so if you can see that. Jawbreaker here, and then I've got the Jeffree Star palettes all running along, including my other two here, the Beauty Killer and the Androgyny palette. And then, oh God, there you go, it's all a bit tight, but it's working. Um, and then I've got the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collection, all of my single colour pops and like the miscellaneous one right here. Um, the Juvia's Place back here, an MUA one that I'm keeping. Um, the Nicole Concilio, um, the Primark and the BH Cosmetics one. To be honest, they can just slide about but I don't really mind, it just looks neat like that. Um, and then I've got here, just the two here, I've got the Morphe one and the Alien palette, but they're just gonna slant here, like I said. And then I've got all of my um, Anasazi Beverly Hills back here. You probably can't see it, but they are just here. They're all here, they look very nice and neat. And then all my Urban Decay um, Naked palettes, and then all like my Urban Decay ones here, so like the Electric palette, the Moon Dust palette, the Born to Run. Um, I've got my Vice palette back here. Just because I don't reach for it on an everyday basis, but I can still, like, it's still really easy for me to grab, you know? Um, and then I've got my Three Zoeva palettes right here, and then I've got the Melt one right back here. You probably just about can only see that, but everything is really, really neat, and I won't lie to you, I'm bloody loving it. I'm bloody loving it. Look how neat this looks. I can see everything again, and then, of course, I can just pop this back in when I want to close my drawer. So oh my god this looks so much better than it did like so much better and i'm absolutely loving it i'm absolutely loving it so yeah there we go how do you think i did i also forgot to mention uh, the four that were on my maybe list to be honest with you um i think i'm just gonna keep this one right here which is the really creamy one that i like and then i'm gonna get rid of all of these i think maybe i'll keep this one yeah i'm gonna keep <laughs> i'm terrible i'm gonna keep these two little ones from nyx and saving glory and get rid of these palettes here which are stunning but i just don't use them so what's the point and this all fits in perfectly right now so i'm gonna get rid of these two and keep these little mini two palettes here and then just for reference these are all the palettes i'm getting rid of like i'm getting rid of quite a few i don't know if you can even see that and i'm getting rid of the four morphe palettes as well oh my god i can just about fit it all in frame i'm not I, i'm too close to the camera but i'm getting rid of the four morphe palettes right here and then all of these um which is in total i've just counted 36 palettes which i feel isn't isn't too bad 36 palettes bobs your uncle i'm very happy with that so that was it hopefully you've enjoyed today's declutter was there anything that you saw that you've tried or that you haven't tried are you intrigued about something comment it down below let's talk about the makeup how well did you think i did obviously i'm filming this before i'm decluttering so i don't know how well that i've done in this declutter it could have all been terrible but comment down below how well did i do today with whatever i decluttered how well did i do please tell me thank you guys so much for watching i really really do appreciate it thumbs up if you enjoy makeup declutters and i will know to kind of maybe do it as a yearly basis a massive series every year perhaps by hitting the thumbs up i know if you want me to proceed with the makeup declutter and i'll just cut it short if you guys don't like it that's absolutely fine so let me know with the thumbs up and down if you do enjoy this sort of video and i'll be sure to sort of take that information in and you know follow it subscribe if you have not already and ring my bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos i upload i upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on any more content from me would you no
no is the answer. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really, really do appreciate it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!